dear students i am back again to make you understand about the concept partnership deed earlier we have understood definition rights and many other things about the partnership now we are covering the topic what is deed deed means a agreement in definition also we had mentioned that partnership is a agreement but nowhere is written that this agreement should be oral or written so law allow us to have a partnership without even a written agreement but there are many benefits students there are really many benefits if we actually have a deed a written deed with us so now let's see what are the benefits to have deed and what exactly this deed contains partnership is outcome of an agreement obviously there must be some terms and conditions there must be some terms and conditions written in this agreement but these terms and condition may be in oral also no doubt but if these are coming in a written agreement then every partner must follow these conditions these terms and conditions right law does not make it compulsory to have a written agreement as i earlier said you however to avoid misunderstanding which generally we have like in the in the starting of a business a and b are partners a says that we will get interest on capital of 15% orally a said that because a is introducing a capital of 15 lakhs but b is introducing a capital of 5 lakh and a is saying that we had agreed orally to have interest on capital of 15% which may or may not be remember at the end of the day so it is always better to have a written agreement right so if they are going to have written agreement then these old terms and conditions about how much interest how much salary how much share of profits all these will be in this agreement so let's see what exactly this deed should contain so what we need to understand this deed should contain the following number 1 name and address of firm form means partnership form in which two or more partners are working so this firm's name and address should be in partnership deed very basic thing then name and addresses of partners same cheese these these are name of partners x y z whatever the names are and their addresses third how much capital they have introduced total amount at the inception that must include in this deed students remember these are very important to you know fourth point is how much interest on capital firm is going to provide because if none information on this amount is provided in the deed then what is the benefit of this deed it will go waste and there is no any understanding between the partners about interest on capital on the last day of the year they'll fight each other and whatever whoever invest more will ask more interest and whoever invest less will ask interest less on that so there will be fight so to avoid those all misunderstanding 
deed should contain all these things fifth point is drawing drawing is basically personal withdraw how much a partner can personal withdraw from the firm it is not drawing of a capital it is the basic necessities for which a partner is actually working in the firm next and very important profit sharing ratio which may be equal which may be 2 is to 1 which may be 3 is to 2 whatever profit sharing ratio must be in this deed but law provide if there is no deed partnership ratio should be equal you need to understand things very carefully very important not only for this topic you'll have to remember this for your whole life that if you are in some partnership and there is no deed as such then what will be of the profit profit sharing ratio how can you need to divide this profit if no deed is there profit sharing ratio is equal there is no dependency on the amount of capital you need to remember this next is salary how much a salary should be given to a partner obviously to a working partner next how much is the goodwill of the firm and the methods to calculate the goodwill then interest on drawings as there was interest on capital i missed it at point number 5 six point should be interest on drawing as whenever a partner is introducing capital there should be a interest on capital on that and if a partner is withdrawing some amount then that partner should also provide interest on that drawing to the firm so it become the income to the firm as interest on capital is expense to the firm this interest on drawings will become income to the firm then date of commencement very important again when we are starting our business when we are starting our partnership this date should always mention in this deed then duration basically this deed contains only those points which are really very important for our life for our firm to be continued duration that this firm is going to have how much years 4 years 5 years or continuing they can also mention that they'll continue for their whole life in which bank they are having accounts partnership firm is having accounts in which bank this should also be mentioned in partnership deed so these are the points which we need to understand after understanding the deed contents we are going to have what is exactly importance that if there is no deed what are the losses to the firm and if there is partnership deed what are the benefits let's see let's see what are the importance of having this deed first importance is this deed actually regulates duties and power of a partner that partners are not going to abide from this deed partner should follow all the points all the things which they have agreed as a startup to avoid all misunderstandings very important point you need to understand that there can be 
misunderstandings on various points like interest on capital what should be interest what is the percentage there can be a misunderstanding on the profit sharing ratio if a partner is giving more capital he will require more share but if there is a deed and anything is mentioned in that deed about this ratio he will have to follow those and last but not the least any disputes among the partners may be settled very easily if we are having partnership deed with us if we are having written partnership deed with us obviously all points are basically covered in this deed so first there should not be any dispute still if there are any dispute those all will be settled very easily by referring the that deed right so we have covered importance of deed and what is exactly containing in that deed hope you are understanding all the points you understood all the things and importance of partnership deed which is very very important still if you have any doubt you please comment below and if you like this video please press the like button thank you